Hey guys, so I totally forgot to film an intro for you guys for this video, so we're just gonna jump right in into my high-end foundation routine, so let's just get started. So first I start out with my Sukin Hydrating Mist Toner. I don't do this every day, it just depends on how my face feels, so I've already prepped with this on, and I'm gonna move on to my primer. I'm gonna be using my Smashbox Photo, Photo Finish Primer Oil Free. So this is gonna be my, like I said, my high-end makeup routine i asked you guys on snapchat a little while ago if you guys wanted to see this and you guys all said yes not only did you want to see this you wanted to see my drugstore foundation routine or makeup routine and you also wanted to see a comparison so do not fret i know a lot of people actually really wanted the comparison video so i'm going to post the comparison video after i post this one and my drugstore foundation one just so i have two routines up for you guys like you guys asked for. Um, I'm not oily at all. I actually have um, normal to dry skin. So I just like the Smashbox. I'm going to try to get the professional. Ugh, I dropped it. I'm going to try to get the professional primer um, just to see because I have fine lines like laugh lines right here that my foundation can sink into and I don't like that at all. So we'll see what happens. So the foundation that I'm going to be using is my Makeup Forever H Ultra HD foundation. I really, really love this foundation, but I also want to try new foundations. Right now, I have the Becca sitting over there, and I'm going to be trying that out to see how I feel. So let me know if you guys want to see a video or an updated foundation routine using my Becca foundation. I haven't even opened it yet. So I use color, I think this is color caramel, but I use y four three five six n o one i'm pretty sure it's called caramel though before i put that on i'm going to be using my pro concealer la girl pro concealer in the color orange i used to use the um urban decay orange one but it wasn't that bright on me and i really needed to cover up my dark circles so maybe i'll try a high-end version of this but right now i'm just going to use the drugstore version because i love it all you need is a small little tap under each area that you want to put it under because it is extremely pigmented so i get it um right here because i have a natural frown face under my eyes and i also put it on my forehead and I start blending that in my thoughts on this foundation is that I kind of actually like it just as much as I like my drugstore foundation, which of course you guys are going to see in the next video. So I would just say if you like Makeup Forever, get it, but I think drugstore foundations can be just as well as this foundation. But I'm not a beauty guru, so I can't really compare like a professional. But I really do enjoy it, so don't get me wrong. I like applying my foundations with this type of brush, but I do notice that it absorbs most of the product, so if you want more product to go on your face, use a different brush, not a beauty blender either. Next, I'm going to go in with my NARS concealer. I use this to highlight a little bit. I actually want to start using my Tarte Shape Tape, I think that's what it's called, for, um, concealer. So, you know, I have all new products that I have not used yet, but recently I've just been using this and loving it. I'm in the color Medium to Ginger. Now, I usually only do a um, high-end foundation routine when I know I'm going to be going out, and I know that I'm going out today, which is why I am doing my high-end version. I don't know why I do it. I think it's because, it's, you know, it costs a lot of money. I don't have that much money, so there's no point in using all my fancy makeup when I'm not really particularly going out and doing anything. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. That's just how I feel. But um, I've noticed that this brush right here, I usually use a smaller brush for my foundation. This just soaks up a lot of product, which I don't like, but it does feel really nice and it's a nice dupe for the Artiste brushes. I don't know. I feel like, let's see. So I just got these, but I have been loving these black ones. So I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping right now, but I feel like it's not blending it. I think I'm tripping. Showing up so much more lighter on camera, but it'll probably tone down once I put my powders on it. But yeah, I do want to be highlighted because I'm, I am going out tonight. So next, I'm going to be setting all of this with, honestly, I only use one highlighting powder. I should buy another one, but this is just my foundation routine. 
with the stuff that I, I use. So I'm sorry if this isn't as high end as you thought it was going to be. <laughs> sorry. But I use my NYX um, lighting powder to set this. And I don't bake anymore because I just find that it's too kind of, it makes me really matte. And since my face is already kind of dry, it just kind of dries it out. And I can't be dry. I'm already naturally dry. I need to be a little bit more dewy. So I'm just going to pat this in. I'm using like a dry beauty blender too. I was thinking that it was going to be still moist from yesterday. But it's whatever. It's not going to look too bad. And I don't feel like getting up to wet it. But usually I use this damp when I put my powders on. So I'm going to be setting my whole face with my Tarte Compact Powder in the color Tan. So this is actually a foundation, I think. I don't know. No, it's just a pressed finishing powder, so it's not going to add too much more coverage on, but it is going to add just a little bit. And I'm taking my BH Cosmetic Brush to do this. And I'm just going to press it into my skin. The powders that I used to use used to, uh, I would have my foundation the color that I needed it to be, but then the powders that I would use would darken my foundation, making it look like it was a, wasn't my color, but I was just using the wrong color powder. So I'm so glad that I finally got this powder. It barely adds any more, doesn't make my face get any too much darker than my body. It actually looks like my skin color. So that's cool. To contour, I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powder contour kit I am actually in the color light to medium I just find that people don't put what contour palette they are online so when I went to go buy my first Anastasia contour palette I was like there's a light to medium medium or medium to tan or something like that and then you have the deep one of course I'm not the deep one but I was in between the middle color contour kit kit and the light side of the contour kit. But I just ended up getting this because I could use more of the colors in this contour palette than the darker one. So yeah, you guys, I realized that there are actually more than two contour kits out there. So I was like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm actually so in love with this contour kit. Like, I thought like, the drugstore version was just going to be just as good as this. I've noticed an inconsistency with it. I love it. I'm not going to tell you guys what I use because I'm going to show you guys in my drugstore one when I do it. You'll see, but I can tell it. I can see a complete difference in this versus my drugstore version, which is so sad because, you know, you don't want to break the bank when you're doing your makeup. But sometimes some things are just aren't. I don't know, replaceable. I could be wrong. I haven't tried every makeup brand out there like some of these beauty gurus are because I am on I am on no one's PR list, so I don't get sent free makeup. So I'm just going to be contouring my nose. I feel like my nose looks really big in pictures, but in real life, I don't think it's that big. I, I don't know why it comes off so big in pictures. I used to think that eyebrows weren't that important. I thought my eyebrows were too thick for me to be putting any more product on it. But I was so wrong. I look so much better with my eyebrows done. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate. I start my eyebrows out really dark most of the time. And then I go through and spoil it out so that it looks a little bit more natural. I like a thick brow. Not going to lie. I like a thick brow. Because it just shows up on pictures and cameras. So sorry about that. But trust me, it's going to end up looking good. I'm still learning how to do my eyebrows, so please bear with me. Like, a girl is learning. So, I can't claim to be some kind of makeup guru when you're learning yourself. So, please bear with me. They do come out looking pretty decent most of the time. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. Whether it's high end or not, there's just some things that do not change with me. And that is my blush. It is a drugstore price that you can get from Ulta is Revolution. I'm pretty sure everybody's heard of Revolution. It is my favorite because it just has colors in it that match my skin tone during summer. You know, I can't use really bright blushes on my face. Oh my god, excuse the foundation lips, but uh, they will be taken care of in a second. So I'm going to be using the darkest color today. 
cheeks are done. Victoria's Secret actually is my highest in highlighter that I have, I think. But I'm sorry, I have been obsessed with using the NYX eyeshadow in the color Lavish as a golden highlight. Um, also, another one that I've been really, really, really loving is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics one. Um, I get this. I get this at, at an affordable price at TJ Maxx, but these are just a little bit pricey. So I'm going to be using this for my high end um, highlighter. It is actually a little dark for my skin, surprisingly. So I'm going to be using this really dense brush to put this on, and I'm going to be spraying it with my HD All, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, so that it's a little bit more pigmented on my face. You know, you want to highlight the gods, as everybody likes to say. Goes on extremely wet, and then I brush it out, or I tap it out. I like to tap it into my skin. Woo. That is right I feel like I made my eyebrows really dark today I have to go really light-handed with that Anastasia Anastasia dip brow because the um, dupe that I use I can go hard on it and it's not going to you know be too pigmented like it's very pigmented don't get me wrong but for some reason I could just go a little bit harder on my drugstore one and it not be a problem but, you know, Anastasia, she's, like, so freaking pigmented. So, yeah, I think I found a dupe for the pomade. I'm pretty sure other people know about this dupe. But I think I found a dupe for it. It's an actual pomade. And it actually looks really good on my face. Let's try to blend. Let's tone this down a little bit. Do you guys see that? Yes. Pretty pretty. And I'm going to keep adding it to my face because I want to blow. Blend it out. Okay, so that is my face makeup. I'm going to spray my face with Urban Decay All Nighter so that it will stick. And then I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then I'll come back to you guys. So this is my high-end foundation routine i did my eyes did my lips did my eyebrows really loved uh, oops really loved how this look ended or <laughs> came out let me know down below if you guys like it if you guys want to see a makeup tutorial on this i mean i think it came out pretty darn well if i ask if you ask me but i am not a beauty guru so there may be a lot of mistakes to this makeup look that you guys are probably looking at that I don't see. So I don't know. Just let me down. No. Oh my God. I'm getting so tongue tied. Let me know down below what you guys think. I will be posting my drugstore version of this. God, I can't stop touching my hair. What foundation do you guys love to use for your high end and your drugstore? Let me know down below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, J-Squad. <laughs>